Angie and Chris Knutson were facing one of parenting's toughest challenges. Six years ago, their youngest daughter, Haley, was diagnosed with leukemia. After two years of chemotherapy and a short remission, the couple decided to have another child, Jace, hoping that the stem cells from his umbilical cord might one day save his sister's life. That opportunity came last month when Haley received a transplant using her brother's stem cells. Angie and Chris Knutson are in Tucson, Arizona with their children, Haley, Jace, and Kyleen. Also joining us is Haley's doctor, Michael Graham. Good morning, everyone. Good morning. Good morning, Julie. Chris, let me start with you. How's Haley doing? She's doing great. Uh, hopefully she's going to be getting out of the hospital today. We'll move her into an apartment down here where she'll be able to come back to the, the clinic on a daily basis. I sure hope that happens. Angie, how do you respond to those who think it is morally wrong to have one child in the hopes of saving another child? They just need to step in our own shoes to say you do what you can to save your kids. This is actually the second time that Haley has undergone a transplant. The first time was when she was five years old. That donor was not related and came from Germany. How does this experience compare to that now that the match is her own brother? It was a, a lot smoother, um, not as much, uh, I guess, downtime for her. She was, last time she was very, very, very down, a lot of like a lot of complaints. Um, this time it was milder. She's got a little bit of stuff, but it was still milder. Haley, much milder. Yeah. Haley, I see you're laughing and smiling. You look great. How do you feel? Good. A lot better than the last time you went through this? Yes. Mama, Dr. Graham, is it more likely that this transplant will be successful because the donor is her younger brother, Jace? Um, I, the, the, um, in terms of the success of, tra of the transplant, it'll still take us uh, a few months and even a number of years to be able to show, to, to be sure that it's been successful. Um, in what, what is notable, as, um, as Angie was referring to, what, what is notable this time is that... Um, <laughs> What is notable this time is that uh, Haley has suffered far fewer side effects, that it's a much milder transplant to go through, and that's, that's part of the excitement of being able to do it, uh, do it from a related donor. Dr. Graham, as a medical professional, do you have any concerns for families who make this choice that Angie and Chris made, and would you ever advise against it? Um, no, I, it, it always has to be an individual decision whether or not to, to add another child to the family, not just as a donor, but um, this is something that families have to decide for themselves. Um, I think, you know, as you can see, uh, I, hopefully you have a quick picture of Jace. Uh, he's a happy boy and a very welcome addition to the family, and the fact that he turned out to be a, a donor for Haley is, uh, is just wonderful. Yeah, we see him roaming around there full of energy this right. morning. <laughs> Chris, at what point did you and Angie decide that you wanted to have another baby in hopes of saving Haley? Well, um, the last time she went through the transplant is uh, when uh, we conceived him, and and uh, you know we we want another three kids, right, Angie? <laughs> so, uh, and he just he's a, he's been a blessing in many ways, and he loves his little sister or his big sister. <laughs> Angie. Right, Jace? <laughs> He's, he's interested in those toys this morning. Angie, yeah. if Jace were not a match, would you and Chris have had another child? <laughs> Chris really, really wanted to have more kids. I kind of, the pregnancy was a little bit hard. Um, it's hard to say. I probably would. I don't know. I'm not sure. Haley, in light of everything that's going on, how do you feel about your younger brother? I feel happy, and I love him so much, and I'm glad that he did this for me. Is it safe to say, would you go so far as to say that your brother saved your life, Haley? Mm-hmm. Chris, Angie? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Well, thank you all for joining us and talking to us this morning. And Haley, we wish you the best. Thank you, Joel. Thank you, Joel.